Okay, give me some facts about Germany. All right, Germany has a lot of sausage, a lot of beer. And I hear that they're helping power a million homes using offshore wind farms. Hi. Hey, I'm Patrick. Allie, Great hi. Great to meet you. Hello. Oh, thank you for coming. Yes. This is what we came to see, right? This is it. This monster will help bring power to about a million uh, German households with clean, renewable energy. So this gargantuan yellow thing is itself a device. Yep, that's it. We're going to show you inside. Let's go. Big yellow mystery. So this is Sibyl, our uh, technical uh, expert, who's going to be helping us guide through the, uh, the offshore converter station. And where we are right now is the gas-insulated switchgear room. This is the power's first stop. So if anything goes wrong, this is an area where we can switch off the power. And what is a gas-insulated switchgear? <laughs> Normally, uh, when you have an outside field, you have a lot of space in order to, to make sure that there's enough clearance. We have here not enough space available, so that's why we have to have the gas-insulated switchgear. So the gas insulation allows you to fit more in a smaller area. Yes. Okay. From here, the power goes up to the transformer room to get juiced up. From there, it goes to a reactor hall where the power is smoothed out. From there, it goes up to the valve hall. That's where the AC is converted into DC for the trip back to land. So it's easier to see than it is to talk about. So let's go have a look. Okay. Easy peasy process. Yeah. <laughs> really simple. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> This is huge. So uh, this is one of two transformers that's on the station. And this is where the power is charged up for the road back to the land. Wow. I have so many questions. Yeah. But I'm going to start with, what do you mean charged up? So think of the two cables that are running back to land as a highway, a power highway that we're yeah. creating. That highway can only take so many cars. And by cars, you mean electrons? Yes. The current, okay. correct, that's flowing. And we want every one of those cars filled with energy. So when you say it gets juiced up, like what numbers are we talking? What does it come in as? What does it go out as? When the energy is generated by the wind turbines, it's uh, at about 33 kilovolts. And by the time it reaches this station right here at the transformer, it gets increased to 350 kilovolts for that trip back to land. The increased voltage, that makes it more efficient to travel? That's correct. So this is the reactor hall. Here, the energy comes after it's been increased up to 350 kilovolts. Yeah. And it comes into this room to be smoothed. What is the benefit of having smooth power? Yeah. The grid likes stability. Because it's interconnected, what happens in one section can dramatically affect another section. So whenever we send power along, we want it as smooth as possible. So it's coming in from there, going to these aliens where smoothing happens somehow, yes. and then leaving to somewhere else. Yes to the valve hall where the magic happens. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Come on in. <laughs> oh. So this is the valve hall. This is where the AC is actually converted into DC. You want to have a look? Yeah. All right, we got to put on some booties. I got marshmallow feet. As you know, there are two ways electricity can flow. There's AC, or alternating current, which travels in a wave. That's great for powering your lights and appliances at home. Or there's DC, or direct current, which travels in a straight line, making it much better for traveling long distances, like from a remote offshore wind farm. Does that give you more advantages in terms of less energy loss? Exactly. We get more real power out at the other end, which is what we want. And eventually, there will be a James Bond movie filmed in this room, right? Correct. The villain's going to be wearing marshmallow shoes. Yes. <laughs> OK. It's unbelievable, but obviously it's not going to live here. Where is this thing going to end up? That's where we're going next. Excellent. Very cool. 
actually uh, on our way out to where the substation is going to be installed. How long does it take one of the stations that keeps on being built to be out? Well, it'll take about five to eight days uh, to get out to its location 50 miles off the coast. It's on a custom-designed barge that uh, tugboats will uh, tug around Denmark. Oh, look at that! Holy cow! That is huge. <laughs> really didn't expect it to be that large. I know. That's incredible. The Darwin Gamma will be uh, 15 stories high. Roughly the length of an American football field. They're huge. Yeah. If this station were manned, it, this would be a hell of a commute. Traffic's decent though. So these cables come onto shore. They've got to be converted from DC back into AC. I kind of want to see what happens next. Yeah, me too. All right, that's where we're off to next. Awesome. The coolest part of this job is that I'm looking around at this stuff, and now I have names for it. I understand it. I know. Not enough to start taking anything apart, though. No. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, welcome. Hi. All right, where are we? Well, this is the last stop on our power highway. So the power has now traveled as DC, 50 miles underwater and 50 miles underground to this point right here. And in this building, it's converted from DC back to AC. So it started out as AC converted it to DC, <laughs> took a lot of time, now you're converting it back to AC. Why are you doing that? Because the German grid is set up that way that it transmits the power via AC. Okay, so once it gets converted back to AC, then what happens? Two air-insulated switchgears, one here and one here, okay. and in the middle there is this huge transformer, actually it's two, which are stepping up the energy from 350 kV to 380 kV. They are the largest ones which uh, GE ever built. Can we see them? Yes. All Let's, right. go. Let's go. Please. So these are the transformers? Yes. Amazing. And then they're going this way. Yes. Look at that. OK, so our journey's ending this way, right? Yes. And that's where the power goes to happy Germans cooking in microwave ovens and watching television. Yes. Exactly. What started 100 miles offshore, the power has now been converted twice and is now ready to go on to light up houses and hospitals and businesses in Germany with like up to a million people having no idea that this all originated on a wind farm in the middle of the ocean. Amazing.